What's up, guys? Um, just finished pull day, so uh, that's pretty mint. It's gonna be a little bumpy to start this one off. Um, yeah, surprisingly, the roads in bumfuck New Hampshire aren't the best maintained. On the bright side, though, I got this thing back. This shirt, it went missing four, five months ago. And I am so hyped that I finally got it back. This thing is fucking mint. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, which way do I go? We're going right, brother. Yeah, so finally got the shirt back. I'm so a little nasally from from my sickness like a week and a half ago. And I don't know if it's the cut that's giving me this headache or if it's some remnants of whatever sickness this may be. But there's a bit of aching. Oh shit. Oh, sorry, fellas. Okay. Uh. Anyway, as I was saying, there's most definitely a bit of aching in the head department. Oh, I'm fucking lost again. Damn it. Come on, y'all pull you. Okay, brother. Yep. This thing has no fucking third radius. Yeah, I'm gonna probably be late to get home anyway. Unless I cook it. Could just wham it. I might do that. That could be the play. Cook it on the drive home so I don't get in trouble with my parents. Here we go. Aw, oh, now we're cooking. Now we're on the way. Now we're back on course. Um. Yeah, anyway, topic for today's video. Oh, why is it? Shit. Okay. The road should be getting better fairly soon. Topic for today's video. Um, there we go. When is it appropriate to skip in the gym? I think I've already done this one. But it's hitting a little close to home right now. And if you couldn't tell, I'm fairly unhappy about it. Um, yeah, if you skip, there's no excuse unless you're very sick. Like, unless you're sick sick, there's no excuse for skipping more than two days in a row. Okay? Like, I guess there is technically an excuse, but, like, there's no really good ones. Let's say you're traveling or something and you're missing two days in a row. You can find a fucking hotel gym or something like that. I'm not saying that you have to. I'm just saying that there's a... Like, it's really your body. It's up to you. I can really care less. It's just that there's not a good excuse. Use, um... You shouldn't lie to yourself. That's like... I hear a lot of people and they're like... Oh, yeah, I... I shouldn't go to the gym today because I'm tired, so I need to rest. And while that could be true to an extent, like, if your body's really, really tired and, like, you, like, you can't get out of bed, then, yeah, probably going to the gym and forcing out, you know, a shitty whatever day it is, shitty pull day, probably isn't the best if you're, like, I mean, like, really, like, like, you can't wake up tired. Like, but if you're just a little drowsy because of school, then just suck it up, dude. Maybe pound an energy drink or something. I don't know. But just don't, like, don't lie to yourself about it. Holy. That lighting was going nuts. The lighting and mewing. No, I'm joking. Um... Just don't lie to yourself about it. Like, lying to yourself is so... You're just not giving yourself, like, a fair shot. Like, if you... 
think back to when you first started lifting and you were like, yeah, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I just, I'm so sick of looking how I look. I'm so sick of being what I look like. And I just don't want to, I'm just done with it. And that's, that's what I was like when I first started. I was very sick of being skinny. I was like, I fucking hate being the skinny kid. I don't want to be the skinny kid anymore. Uh, I hate it. Like you just hate looking in the mirror. And then if there's a day where you're a little tired and you're trying to think, the second you start trying to think of an excuse to not go, that's when you give up. That's when you're like, well, that's when you should be like, nope, not doing it. We're going today. But when you start trying to think, that's when, that's when your dedication starts to come away. And that's when it becomes pretty evident on what type of lifter you are. I'm not trying to make this sound like it's some fucking wisdom scroll or whatever from Kung Fu Panda. Like, oh yeah, it's the ancient dragon warrior. If you skip, then you're not a Sigma male. Like, no, not like that. I'm just, I'm just saying how I feel. But yeah, it's like, I, I've said it's like probably 14 times. It's just, oh, not a cop. Please don't be a cop. Uh, okay, we're good. We're golden, buddy. Please don't go, please don't go. Uh, oh, I'll turn the items off. Anyway, yeah, just... My, my biggest tip is that when you're trying to think of a reason to not go, then go. If you're, if you're trying to, it, 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 it's only gonna help you. There's no better feeling than when you're done with a workout that you didn't want to do, and it's just over. I remember I had one, I had one leg day where I was, I felt like shit. I did not want to go at all, and I just didn't want to. I didn't even want to move, but I ended up driving to the gym, and I just pounded like pretty very decent leg day i'm not gonna say good it was it was honestly like if i was feeling good it would have been a shitty leg day it was five sets leg extensions of failure five sets seated leg curls to failure three sets of calf raises all to failure but when i was done with that and i was uh like i felt fucking i didn't feel good i still felt like shit like i had golf after i went to i was doing some indoor golfing after and i like during the indoor golf, I literally stood up and I almost fucking passed out, bro. Everything just went black. And I was like, holy cow, this is not how it's supposed to be. But the moral of the story is just push through, you know? Push through whenever you don't want to go. This is a another shitty video. Very I've I've been producing a very low effort shitty videos lately. And I'll I'll take that one, okay? I'll take that one. And I'll take it in stride. The, the videos will improve. I just the hard part is coming up with a video topic. Like when I have a good video topic, it's, it's easy to ramble on. But I mean, we do. You just start recording with no topic. It's it's not easy to start going. Anyway, I will be starting a um, clothing company. More of that in the future. But it's going to be some drip, okay? And. If you're watching this, okay, if you're watching this in 10 years, if I'm watching this in 10 years, and uh, my clothing company is probably valued at about upwards of $15 billion, and I haven't sold it yet, actually, well, fuck that, you know? I'm going to do whatever I want when it happens. But anyway, when I'm successful... Come back and watch this video, because heard it here first, folks. Heard it here first. Multi-million dollar designer, entrepreneur. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say professional bodybuilder, amateur bodybuilder, and YouTuber. Watch me.